you hear me? Check, check. Is that a good level? Okay. <clears throat> Greetings, friends. Once again, it is I, Lady Jade Elf Queen Ravenclaw, your favorite pantheistic, pansexual, polyamorous omnivore, and erstwhile guide through the celestial realms. Well, fellow seekers, the future does seem to keep a steady pace, doesn't it? Today at the Lair, we're introducing a new bit of technological prowess to our arsenal of interconnectedness and spiritual community. We now have the ability to field live calls. I, for one, am titillated at the prospect of audio intercourse with all of my viewers. A bit of oral excitation, one might say. Hmm. And I can see my technical director is gesticulating frantically. Apparently, we have our first call. Greetings, caller. Welcome to the lair. No. Hello? I, I pushed one. I, that's line... Oh, no, wait. That's line four. Oops. There it is. Greetings, caller. Welcome to the lair. Yeah, to me, Margie. I told you not to call me that. It's Lady Jade Elf Queen Ravenclaw, or Princess Darkstar, or Mrs. Warhammer. This is Warhammer of the Lower Realms. Realms. Yeah, yeah, I got it, I got it. <sighs> Sorry, friends. This is Max, my skeptical magician half-brother. So, Max, did you have a question? Yeah, listen, lady, borrow my stuff and not return it. When am I getting my Battlestar Galactica DVD back? I told you. When I'm finished with them. Not everyone's like you, Max. Some of us need to watch television shows slowly and then meditate on the significance to absorb the new Yeah, 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 whatever. I need to get him back so I can refresh myself for season four. Fine. Anything else, oh quasi-sibling of mine? No, I'll catch you later. I gotta go work on my cups and balls. I'm sorry. You're doing what with your balls? Cups and balls. Cups and balls, you goof. Now, Max, you know I'm not normally interested in your little prestidigitation, but isn't that routine a bit hackneyed for you? Yeah, well, you've just never seen Tommy Wonder do it. I tell you, shit, that guy's a genius. You should check him Thank out. Thank you, but I leave the petty trickery to the likes of you while I endeavor to follow the path of the true magic of the cosmos. True magic, my ass. Do you know how many shamans and holy men invented magic tricks to deceive the Max. gullible people? It's astounding Max. when I think... What? I have to go now. I'm in the middle of recording a show. Are you still doing that thing? As we speak, Max. Okay, I'll catch you later, sis. <sighs> Thank you for calling, Max. And fare thee well. Yeah, see ya. Well, that just goes to show you, you can't pick your relatives. Sometimes I miss Max. And sometimes he calls me. Oh! My, it seems that we have another caller on the line. Greetings, caller. You're on the lair. Oh, hi, Miss Claw. Oh, no need for formality, dear. You can call me Lady Jade. Oh, okay, then, Miss Jade. My name's Carl from Jasper Newton, Texas. Am I on the air? You are indeed, Carl. Welcome to the show. Oh, thank you, Miss Jade. I was wondering, I'm a bit confused about something. Well, Carl, you've certainly called the right place. What can I do to elucidate your incertitude? My insert... Anyway, I understand the whole goddess thing you talk about. That's just like a girly version of God, right? And that's okay, I suppose, but could you tell me where does Jesus fit into your philosophy? I'm not trying to be funny. I really want to understand. Hmm. That's a good question, Carl. And you should never be afraid to ask questions. It's the best way of dispelling fear and doubt about our fellow citizens here on Earth. Bravo to you, Carl, for your inquirious intrepidity. Oh, uh, well, thank you, ma'am. But to answer your question, the orchestra of the universe is made up of many voices. Some are merely lost in the chorus. While some, we select few, are soloists. A shining voice that pierces through the darkness and touches our hearts. Yeshua or as you call him, Jesus, is merely one solo in an infinite symphony. While I do not prescribe to that particular melody, I certainly defer to its place in the cosmic score conducted by the Divine Maestro. Oh, uh, 
Uh, okay. To extend the metaphor, you may listen to Ronnie Van Zant while I focus on Steve Gaines. But we are both at the same concert. Does that help? You know something? I think it does. Thank you, Miss Jade. No. Thank you, Carl. And fare thee well. It seems that Carl will certainly have a lot to think about. And of course, I am always gratified when my advice gives someone pause. Well, that about wraps it up for things here at the Lair. Before I sign off, I'd like to take a moment to thank all of my viewers for their continued support. Thank you. And to welcome our newest member, Brian. Welcome, Brian. We here at the Lair are pleased to have you as part of our little family. And remember, if you enjoy our little production, please pass it on to your friends and loved ones. We welcome people of all faiths, genders, orientations, and fabrications. As always, you can send me your emails and comments at ladyjadeelfqueenravenclaw at gmail.com. Tune in next time when we will introduce another new segment to the show, read some viewer mail, and perhaps take a look at a video project I've been working on. Until then, thank you, and fare thee well. Hey, geek girl, are you done with the phone yet? I have to call my agent. Okay.